you're back for another episode of The Space. Welcome. It's a mindfulness podcast. It's not like the others. I'm your host, Casey Donovan, together with Amy Malloy. Every Monday, we explore ways to clear your head for the week and help you to feel ready for anything. Today, we're going to talk about the power of curiosity. It's not just a cutesy little thing. When it comes to your career, being curious can really help you go places. At least that's what Roxanne Calder says. She's a recruitment specialist and the author of the book, Employable, Attributes to Assure Your Working Future. Being curious helps to keep you engaged, she says. It also helps with motivation, stamina, and enjoyment in your job. But it can go out the window when we work on autopilot. Even if you've been in your job for years, it's possible to reboot your curiosity. Try these simple tricks from Roxanne's toolkit. Tip 1. Listen intently to understand and not just reply. There's a big difference between waiting for your turn to speak and actually engaging with what's being said. Be aware of your bias and keep an open mind, says Roxanne. Be open to learning something from the most junior person in your team. You can be the student and the teacher at the same time, says Roxanne. Ditch the need to know it all and see where your curiosity leads you. Tip two, be prepared to have your mind changed, always. Even if you're in your genius zone, stop and think. No matter how right I feel, what if I'm actually wrong? Let's say that one more time for the stubborn people at the back. No matter how right I feel, what if I'm actually wrong? When you're looking for an answer, don't just go somewhere your opinion will be repeated. Search out answers from new sources. People or resources you'd normally overlook, says Roxanne. Tip three. Be an explorer. This is the energy to bring into your week, says Roxanne. Don't write something off as boring or uninteresting before exploring it further. Keep an open mind. Test out your limits. Read past the first paragraph. We know it's Monday. You want to ease into the week with a bit of scrolling and a muffin. If you're not in the mood for something, don't dismiss it completely, says Roxanne. This is your mind encouraging you to stay in your comfort zone. Now that is boring. The good news is, curiosity is a muscle you can stretch and grow, she says. The more you discover, the more excited you'll get about broadening your horizons. Start with baby steps. This week when a question comes into your head, instead of pushing it down, open your mouth and ask it. What editing app do you use? How do you get started in stocks and shares? What on earth is kombucha scoby? It's just one question and one answer for your knowledge bank. You never know when it might come in handy. I'm Casey Donovan and you've been listening to The Space, a podcast written by Amy Malloy. We're back tonight for another mood-soothing episode. The 20-minute sleep rule you'll need. Until then, space out.